Good evening. My name is Andrew Johnson. I'm one of the reference librarians here at the Rancho Mirage Public Library. And on behalf of David Bryant and the rest of the staff, I'm here to welcome you for what I'm sure is going to be another wonderful evening of operatic performance by young singers. I need to say at the outset that this program is being sponsored by Jay Bartush and the Bartush Family Foundation. They give us a lot of support here. Thank you, Jay. Without further ado, I'm going to get out of the way and I'm going to turn this over to your president, Bruce, who will introduce the program. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming and uh, thank you uh, also from the Opera Guild to the Bartouche Family Foundation for making this possible this evening. Uh, the Palm Springs Opera Guild of the Desert is a membership-based organization. You know it's coming, little pitch here. Um, and we are volunteers. We love the art of opera uh, and our mission is threefold. To present operatic performances for those of you living in the Coachella Valley, those of you who visit from Canada and other places. Um, we also have a vocal competition every December. We used to do it here. We're now doing it at the Rancho Mirage uh, High School, uh, thanks to Andrew Eisenman, who I'll introduce to you in just a moment. And the, the competition allows us to hear over 100 applicants from the Western states. And these are young singers who are career ready. They're really extraordinary. And we boil that down to eight singers who compete for over $45,000 in scholarships. And you'll hear some of them tonight. The other thing we do is introduce opera to young people in the Palm Springs Unified School District. We reach some 17,000 students every spring. So if you enjoy what you hear tonight, and if you'd like to become a part of our guild, know that your support will help provide the support for these ongoing programs. And now, enough of the pitch, it's my great pleasure to introduce the Artistic Director of the Palm Springs Opera Guild, Mr. Andrew Eisenman. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bartouche. And thank you, all of you, for being here. Um, this is actually my first real program as Artistic Director for the Opera Guild that I've had the honor to uh, be a small part in producing. Um, I, wa I just wanted to, uh, since it's called Attitude is Everything, A Night at the Opera, I've, I've been known to have attitude in a lot of different ways, as I think we all have. If you notice, attitude, a way of looking at life, a way of thinking, feeling, or behaving. I'm the kind of person that has the attitude that says, my Monday morning coffee gets me even more energetic because I wake up this way before coffee. Yet, I have people at work that still look Monday on Wednesday or Thursday waiting for Friday. Um, I know people and I see some people in this room that when they walked in the room, heads just turned. That's a pretty fabulous attitude and that would be a grand operatic attitude, ladies and gentlemen. I think that there's the attitude of love, there's a can-do attitude, there's a can't-do attitude, there's a longing for something attitude, all of those stem from the Italian Commedia dell'arte characters. All of them are in everyday life and in every opera that you see. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I have a lot of attitude because I have been in this organization for 14 years. 13 years ago, I decided to start a little educational outreach program that went to nine schools. Now we go to 30 schools and do 37 performances in eight school days with a troop of eight people in a van and it is free of charge for over 15,000 students. This will be the 12th year in a row of that program. I'm also proud of our opera competition that Bruce has talked about that we will be giving away close to $50,000 and a little about my background. I'm a retired opera singer. I was a, my degrees are playing trumpet and I gave up my trumpet on a teacher's advice who said, you've got a voice there, take my class, and will you learn how to sing? 
I couldn't get a job singing, so I got a job teaching middle school. One of my middle school students said, Mr. E, you're fat and loud, you should be an opera singer. And I thought, oh, okay, uh, I'll do that. So then I quit teaching. I ended up uh, meeting Irene Dallas, 25-year Metropolitan Opera mezzo-soprano soloist, who with a cigarette, attitude, powerful Greek-Italian, scary haircut, said, honey, with a voice like that, if you lose 100 pounds, I can make something out of you. So I worked hard, I lost 100 pounds, I had, uh, be, was able to sing pretty much around the world, and I realized that my heart was in a choir classroom and to bring opera to young people. That brought me here tonight. So my attitude is such that I am so proud to be part of a winning organization with these four young singers and the amazing Paul Floyd. Ladies and gentlemen, attitude is everything. Welcome to a night at the opera.
for a time by my toil would at last be in vain. Would at last be in vain. Till I die then a fever or by light and struck. Let me live by my wits and trust to my luck and trust to my luck.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back for a little bit more opera with a little bit more attitude. I hope you enjoyed Act One. You know, my other hat when I'm not Opera Guild, I have the great joy of managing the Helene Galen Performing Arts Center at Rancho Mirage High School. I get to teach five choirs there, one of which did 19 performances between Thanksgiving and Christmas. We call it the holiday ditty season. And um, let's see, uh, Alondra, could you scroll to the first Attitude is Everything slide? I got a few questions at intermission, ladies and gentlemen, and they wondered where I could have ever found this amazingly lovely lovely diva, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that, that one. <laughs> oh yes, give her a glance, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to tell you how these performances work for the Palm Springs Opera Guild. We are a 100% volunteer organization. We have one paid staff member who works the job of about seven, and um, I work with Mona Lanz at UCLA. She's the retired coordinator of opera. When we were booking this gig, I said, you know what? The library has us back for multiple years in a row. This year, I want to double the singers. I want not to have two, I want to have four. I want to do it like a real program. And she said, so we need a catchy title. While we were talking on the phone, she was checking her mail. She opened, I hear the envelope open, and she says, Andy, I've got the program. And I said, well, what do you mean? She said, hang on, check your text right now. So she sent me this picture, which is a Hallmark card, and on top of it, it just said, attitude is everything. It's actually a thank you card. So thank you, Mona Lands, and thank you, our operatic diva for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, attitude is everything, especially in act two. Welcome back. <laughs>
dicen que es mentira que te quiero porque nunca me habían visto enamorado y yo te juro que yo mismo no comprendo el porqué de tu mirar me ha fascinado cuando estoy cerca de ti ya estoy contento no quisiera que de nadie te acordaras tengo celos hasta del pensamiento que pueda recordar de otra persona amada Jura que aunque pase mucho tiempo no olvidarás el momento en que yo te conocí Mírame pues no hay nada más profundo ni más grande en este mundo que el cariño que te di. Bésame con un beso enamorado como nadie me ha besado desde el día en que nací.
wanting you to know I love you so. gentlemen, Mr. Ricky Garcia tenor, Paul Floyd on piano, ladies and gentlemen, and Ricky Garcia tenor, Oriana Faya soprano, Madison Leonard soprano, and Ben Lowe baritone bass baritone. Bravi tutti and thank you from the Palm Springs Opera Guild. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. Please Visit us online at palmspringsoperaguild.org and we'll see you next year.